Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS. In this special video, we're going to look at 2023 Bitcoin projections. Will crypto crash or take off? Right up front, the most important thing to keep in mind, you don't need certainty, you need a strategy to profit from uncertainty. By very definition, Financial markets are uncertain. If they were certain, it would be like getting a return on a bank deposit. Where there's great uncertainty, there can be great returns. But the flip side of this is all about risk as well. Social media is really positive in terms of big Bitcoin price projections. We're going to look into this and actually do a bit of acid testing. Bitcoin bull Tom Draper has delayed his $250,000 price prediction to 2023. In yesterday's video, we talked a little bit about these particular charts. We saw, um, this is from social media, 2011, 2012, 2013, Bitcoin was up, up, up on the yearly trend and 2014, it went down. 2015, 2016, 2017, up, up, up. 2018, it went down. 2019, 2020, 2021, it went up. And in 2022, it came down. So therefore, what is going to happen in 2023? Well, if you said up, well, that's where the statistics would lead you. But is it correct? There are two problems with this very, very simplistic analysis. One thing is 2010 was not conveniently added to the yearly trend. That was also up. So there would have been four ups, one down, three ups, one down. Hang on a second. That's not a pattern. That's not as good as three ups, three ups, three ups. Oh, that creates certainty. There's another problem here. When we look at this 2013 candle and the 2014 retracement candle, it just takes up a very small portion of the upsurge. When we look at the 2018 candle, it's about half. So it's, yeah, it's quite a reduction. And when we look at 2021 compared to 2022, wow, it's in completely engulfed it. It's wiped that candle out and a sizable portion of the 2020 candle out as well. You can see that things are not always certain. They're not always predictable. So what are we seeing in social media? Because we're seeing things like three ups, one down, three ups, one down, three ups, one down. Of course, it's got to be up. So people look at something like the Wall Street cheat sheet, the psychology of a market cycle. And I've got to tell you, be careful. If you're actually falling into this, you're falling into retail thinking. Story based analysis is very, very damaging to your pocket. So what has this person actually done here? Well, he's saying we're in hope. But Bitcoin's price action looks nothing like this at all. You have to be really, really careful of getting into stories. When we look across past years, looking at net realized profit and loss over market cap, we can see during this bear market phase here, you can see all the red that came down and it came down substantially. The next bear market, look at all this red just up here and then a big spike down in the red. This was capitulation and it recovered over time. And you can note that it was pretty wobbly. What about now? What are we actually seeing now? We're seeing a lot of red. The question is, is this red like this? Is greater price momentum to the downside coming? Or have we seen the end of negative price momentum and it's only going up? After all, we see, oh, three years up. One year down, three years up, one year down, three years up, one year down. Well, it must be going up. Let's have a look at Plan B's analysis. When we see the next halving, 2020 halving, we're right here. So there's a lot of halvings and a lot of block rewards to come with Bitcoin's price action. And what are we seeing here? Months until the next halving. When it gets really, really blue, dark blue like this, the halving is there. What happens at the halving? What do you notice with this? Well, statistically, when the halving occurs, there's a lot of excitement in the crypto industry. And what does Bitcoin do? It goes up. But does it go up immediately? You can see in 2013, yeah, it did. In around 2016, midway through 2016, it actually went down and then it went up. And what about 2020? Well, it went up and down and then up. 
These things are not certain. Don't actually trap yourself into a certainty mindset. That's zone one and zone two. You do not want to be there. Professionals just look at objective dynamic market structure through the CTKS method, and we'll get to that. Let's have a look at what we're noticing as far as the colors go. We can see this green getting darker, this green getting darker. We can see a bit of a drop here. We can see a drop here. This is leading some people to believe capitulation has already occurred. What about this drop here? Oh, that's, that's pretty interesting. You can see a lot of cross correlations. One thing to actually bear in mind is adoption. When we look at the growth model for internet users as a percentage of the population and the growth model for mobile, mobile phone users, also we can see that Bitcoin has been following quite a good trajectory. But the concept is, where is the adoption curve actually going? And one thing that we actually notice, the supply of Bitcoin is coming down and down and down and down. And this is going to be the case. And one thing in terms of block rewards, block rewards are used to actually incentivize the cryptographic security of the blockchain network in relationship to Bitcoin. And we can see that it's going down and down and down and down. They're getting less Bitcoin as time progresses. Why would this be? Because the price of Bitcoin is going up exponentially. That's the assumption. And you might notice that the last halving cycle is in 2136. We have quite a bit of time on our hands. There are many factors that drive adoption. As we covered yesterday, about 10.2% of the world's population between, well, internet users between 16 and 64 own some form of cryptocurrency. 10.2% was the worldwide average. And when we look at Thailand and Nigeria, they had the greatest ownerships, 20.1% and 19.4%. Keep your eye on Nigeria. It's actually important. In 2022, the world's population reached 8 billion people. That's quite a lot of people. And by 2100, we're expecting there's going to be approximately 10 billion people on our planet. We've come a long way since 1999 when there were 6 billion people in the world. You can see that life expectancy continues to rise. In 1999, it was 67 years. In 2022, it's 73 years. Birth mortality rates have fallen by more than 50%. More children are staying in school and children are more literate. Poverty has declined drastically. The percentage of global population living below $2.15 a day is only 8.4%. Well, was only 8.4% in 2019. And in 2020, the internet actually reached 60% global saturation. In 2000, 25% of the world's population did not have access to electricity. In 2017, it was 9.5%. And we can see renewables continue to increase their share of global energy. In 1999, it was 15.5%. In 2019, it's 23.2%. And that's only going to increase over time. It's very important to look at demographics because demographics will actually drive crypto adoption. By 2050, it's expected that India will overtake China as the world's most populous country. Nigeria and the US tie for the number three position. One thing that we see, African nations dominate the list of fastest growing populations, with many growing at more than triple the rate of global population growth. This is absolutely going to influence crypto adoption rates. Nigeria at 19.4% ownership of crypto. Kenya at 12.5%. By as early as 2050, Africans will make up 25% of the world's population. Remember, I was saying keep your eye on Nigeria. Four of the fastest growing cities are in Nigeria. And today, 17 out of the 20 fastest growing cities are located in African countries. We can see Sub-Saharan Africa 
has a 4.6 fertility rate, one of the highest in the world. Out of every thousand babies born across the globe, Africa has 326 of them. In Asia, 511. Urbanization is going to become a really key thing as people move from rural parts of their countries into urban parts. And countries with the fastest urbanization rates, Uganda, Mali, Ethiopia, Burundi, Oman, Tanzania, you get the idea. Africa is going to play a very key part in the world going forward, as is Asia. One thing to also note, the median age by continent. In Africa, it's just 21. In Asia, it's 31. In Europe, it's older. North America, older. The concept is the young adopt crypto. And the median age by continent, Africa, the fastest growing continent on the planet, is also the youngest. On the positive side, we can certainly see why the adoption curve will continue to improve for crypto. And of course, crypto is the ownership layer of the next generation of the internet, Web 3.0. It's not a scam. It's not where pirates put their money. It's actually an ownership layer of the internet. This is something that's lost on a lot of people. A lot of people simply don't understand what crypto is. But the younger generation typically understands it quite well. You can see that there's very strong macro drivers in terms, in, especially in terms of demographics. But what did Michael Burry just come out and say? Inflation peaked, but it is not the last peak of this cycle. We are likely to see the CPI lower, possibly negative in the second half of 2023. And the US is in a recession by any definition. The Fed will cut and the government will stimulate. And we will have another inflation spike. It's not that hard. Thank you, Michael. The concept is, if Michael's words come to pass, and what he's saying is very, very sensible, this would also be a driver of positive momentum inside Bitcoin's price. We need to look a little bit deeper on this. We need to see what the impacts that central banks all around the world have had. The Federal Reserve has hiked further and faster than any time in modern history. And you can see that by the gradient of the 2022 hiking cycle. Wow, it's just been out of control. But how did that impact the total nominal return in US stocks and bonds? It also impacted crypto, but they haven't been around since 1871, just 2009. We can see right in that bottom low hand, left hand quadrant, 2022, there were really shocking returns market wide. Why did central banks raise rates so fast? It was all about dampening down the stimulus, the rampant stimulus that central banks flooded into the economic system. And what was that stimulus doing? It was inflating prices right across the board. And you can see on selected goods inflation, food at elementary and secondary schools up by 254.1%. Eggs are up a little over 49%. Airfares up 36%. Butter and margarine up 34.2%. Fuel oil up 65.7%. 2022 was the year that every single thing got more expensive except for smartphones and beef and veal. By the way, I think smartphones are horrendously expensive. They're more expensive than buying a notebook computer now. Oh, brother. And of course, it's not just the Fed that has been tightening globally. All of the central banks have been doing so. As debt became more expensive, what happened to stocks? Well, they got crushed. Over $35 trillion was wiped from global markets in just one year. One of the real keys to understand where Bitcoin's price projections could actually play out over the next year is tied to corporate earnings. If corporate earnings start to turn over, the stock markets will price that in. If the markets see lowering growth prospects, that means that investors are likely to draw their money away from certain stocks and bonds as well, potentially. We know 
from our extensive analysis that Bitcoin cannot escape the stock market's gravity. And that's been proven out with Bitcoin and crypto statistics. Another thing to note, if mortgage rates keep on increasing, there's less disposable income for consumption. And that impact actually hits GDP as well. And you can see monthly mortgage payments increase dramatically or traumatically, as is the case. Another thing that we look for are delinquencies, people who just can't pay their debts. We can see that the debt outstanding is actually increasing, but the interest rate on that debt outstanding is also increasing. This places a large financial burden on people. Most businesses are not expecting better economic conditions over the next six months. The big institutions have done a forecast on the end of 2023, the Treasury yield forecast. Current closing levels on 2022, we can see for the two year 4.43%, the five year at 4%, the 10 year at 3.87% and the 30 year at 3.96%. We can see pretty much every single end of year 2023 forecast is below the current closing levels. This is actually quite good and could throw stimulus into the economic system. But of course, it could be the opposite of that. It could be just the impact of demand destruction. We have to balance what Michael Burry is saying because he's a pretty smart guy. One thing to note, when oil actually starts to drop, it can drop really, really fast. Typically, we see a lot of negative momentum in oil's price during a, during a recessionary period. One actual cause for hope is that this has been the worst year since 2018. And when we're looking at European stocks slumping this year over growth and policy concerns, we can see if we look back to 2018, just pretend you couldn't see the rest of that particular chart. They would say, well, this is the worst year since a previous year. But the concept is, look what happened in 2019. Price is always moving in a wave. Before we get into our projections of Bitcoin, there's something that you must understand about the methodology that's used to create these projection levels. These projection levels are created through the CTKS method, and you'll find that online if you're not part of the masterclass at www.ctksmethod.org. The CTKS method is a standards-based process which is the world's most advanced smart money buy level and sell level detection system that you can apply to any price chart. It's a step-by-step -step standards based process to reveal where smart money is stepping in and buying and supporting the market and also selling the market down. This is very, very important to know. And it also updates 270 years of candlestick analysis. To do what I'm going to show you today, you can do it yourself when you understand level one and level two standard certification. And when you complete each level, you get a certificate of completion as well. So you can pop that in your resume. When people first get into trading and investing, they want very simplistic answers. The markets are inherently dynamic and very intercorrelated and interconnected. What the stock market does will impact what crypto does. And we've seen that with Bitcoin sell off this year or more the fact last year in 2022. What I've done for you is to give you six levels up and two levels down. These particular levels that I'm giving you are very, very strong smart money levels. Level one at 24987 is a very strong smart money sell level. And level A at 13903 is a very strong smart money buy level. Level B is a very strong smart money buy level at 7533. And level two is a very strong smart money sell level at 40,151. The one thing that I really want to point out to you, people are predicting $250,000 Bitcoin, but the actual structure inside the market through objective dynamic market structure analysis or ODMS is not at 250,000. It's at 271,525. The other thing to note, 
there is no smart money buy level at 10,000. And people keep on talking about $10,000 Bitcoin. Structurally, that is not a strong structural buy level. These are, of course, the strongest smart money levels that exist inside Bitcoin's price dynamics at the moment. And you can create these levels yourself by doing the standard certification. The key is to know what levels actually reside between these strong levels. Throughout the next year, I'll be layering in what these different levels are. But the first two levels that you must pay attention to are level 1.1 1 .1 at 17856. If Bitcoin does not get above 17856, that is an actual problem. That would tend to suggest that the probabilities are weighted towards a retracement back to the 13903 level. If we actually hit 13903, the next level of smart money buying is 12699. There are a few more things to note from this actual analysis. When we get above level 1 at 24987, the next level is 40,151, but there's a tight level above that at level 3, 46,331. We could expect to get up to this level and wobble around for a bit because there will be a lot of sellers here. Now, please note, these levels are not formed from recent price action. They're formed from all of price action. And as the inventor of the CTKS method, what I actually do inside level one certification is I show you exactly how you go about doing this. All of these areas are all about teaching you how to have the smart money mindset, how to look at the markets completely differently. And when we go to level two standard certification, what you'll actually see is this is another area where your knowledge will explode exponentially. And there's a whole lot of detail. It's very interesting. A lot of people will do incredible amounts of research on buying a new car or a new house or anything like that. It's or buying a new phone, a new computer, whatever is new. People put a lot of effort and energy into it. But the concept is when it comes to actually doing the hard work, doing the analysis of where you could put literally your life savings into, people say, oh no, I don't want to analyze that. I just want to throw money at it. Please, please don't do that. You need to put in the hard work. By putting in the hard work, you actually know where the various levels are and you'll know what smart money knows. What could actually be better than that? And when you learn the CTKS method, standard certification process, and it is a standard, it is a global standard, you can apply it to any particular chart that you want to look at. In all likelihood, global markets are going to be very, very choppy. That's why you need to be able to trade because you can take advantage of the fact that price will be moving in a wave up and down, up and down all the time. And that's something that you can actually take a lot of advantage of. When you're an investor, you have to wait till it goes up, but you always have the problem, where do I get rid of this thing? Do I sell here? Do I sell there? Do I sell here? When you're trading, you're always in and out of positions. A few members of the community asked me, Ken, can you update the KS model? This is the updated KS model. It's the CTKS method. This is exactly what it gives you. When you understand how to draw these particular lines in, you will know where smart money is coming in and buying, when it's going in and selling. Let's make it more real because you're probably saying, Ken, I want to apply this to a two hour time frame. You can do it. It's designed to do that. It's designed to analyze and help you to trade and invest on any time frame. What we can see is yesterday's video. We started here. We're here right now in this video. These two smart money sell levels at 16812 and 16889. And you can put these in if you know the standard certification. You can see that they've actually acted as quite strong sell levels. If you didn't know the sell levels, you'd be looking at a chart like this and saying, I don't know, where is support? Where is resistance? 
Where is smart money going to come in and buy and where is it going to sell? You just simply cannot answer those types of questions unless you apply ODMS. And what is ODMS? It's Objective Dynamic Market Structure. It will help you to understand where to buy, where to sell and how long to hold. We watch these levels, these Stanfield levels, very, very closely because they indicate where smart money is either buying or selling. And you can see, you can apply it on any time frame. It takes me quite a lot of time to put these videos together. So when I started preparing the materials for this video, it was quite a bit of time ago. But that was the current price of Bitcoin there. And what we're looking at, it's from that particular point, which is just a little bit lower than where we are. It's about 1% away from taking out that 16889 level and about 6 point, well, a little over 6% away from going down and gravitating down towards its smart money buy level. I also did some analysis for you. I painted out this red particular area and this is quite a few hours ago. You can see how long it takes me to do a video. You can see here this particular red area. I was expecting that the sellers because they'd come in and suppress price so much that this between 16812 and 16 713 would be quite a tight area to actually get through and we've seen a bit of a sell-off. I believe that this particular area between 16714 and 16631 that's a really good area for prices to come back, normalize, form a higher low. This is a low, this is a low, but this would be a higher low and that would actually maintain short-term market structure to attack this 16889 and 16812 levels. Because what you will find is sometimes price just has to take a breather before it can go up. But if we start dipping down lower into this 16570 to 16631 level or even deeper below that 16497 to 16570 that's starting to get a little bit dodgy so please keep these particular boundaries in mind and you can see just how powerful the CTKS method standard certification process is if you want to invest in yourself it's the best investment that you can ever make and you'll be able to do just what I do here. The concept of doing this analysis, you can do anything when you understand what you're doing. A lot of people simply don't have the time to maintain these charts at the highest level of precision. If you go to ctksmethod.org and just scroll down to the CTKS method service, that's where I actually mark up the charts with the CTKS method. And there are very big plans ahead and you'll actually, when you lock in, just by entering your name and email, you can lock in this very, very low price of $39 per month, which is totally worth it. And that will be the highest level of membership to this particular service. It is literally the Rolls Royce level. And when you register, you're only locking in your strictly limited discount. No payments are due until the service is active. And then you decide if you want it or not at that particular time. And this will give you some ideas as to what is coming in the CTKS method servers. Rule 45 from the masterclass. No alt can escape Bitcoin's gravity. The reason that we must look at Bitcoin, your alt is tied to Bitcoin's fate. For example, if you were looking at ADA, ADA is that light blue line. As Bitcoin went up, what did ADA do? It went up. As Bitcoin came down, what did ADA do? It came down. What about if you were into XRP? And XRP we need to talk a little bit about because that's important. As Bitcoin came up, what did XRP do? Well, it came up. And as it went down, what did it do? It went down. From a regulatory stance, if XRP wins the case against the Securities Exchange Commission, the SEC, that will be very, very positive for crypto. But if it loses, that could drive price down to level A or potentially even level B. XRP is an incredibly important case for the entirety of the crypto industry. 
Well, let's have a quick look at Ethereum. Look at Bitcoin's gravity and look at Ethereum's gravity. Notice anything similar. As Bitcoin goes up, what does Ethereum do? It goes up. And as it comes down, Bitcoin comes down. Ethereum comes down. Especially when you get climactic or traumatic sell-offs, you can see this playing into Ethereum's price action. Let's have a quick look at Doge. And Doge, of course, is very driven by what Elon Musk does. But what is happening when Bitcoin comes down? What is Doge doing? Coming down. When it comes down, what is happening? You can see it playing out here. When it goes up, what does it do? And this is the nature of all cryptos. Cryptos cannot escape the stock market's gravity because Bitcoin cannot escape the stock market's gravity either. You can see there's so much cross-correlation between markets. In order to understand where Bitcoin is going, we have to understand how a broad range of macroeconomic factors are playing out. This broad range of macroeconomic factors is covered in the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass. And you can see there are quite a few lessons that you need to go through in order to understand what is actually going on inside markets. And a very special bonus to people inside the Masterclass. They actually get Level 1 and Level 2 certification. But if you're thinking about joining up the Masterclass to do Level 1 and Level 2, that's a good idea. But this will unlock, Level 1 and Level 2 will unlock when the TG section or the Trigger section unlocks. And that's 28 days after you join. So just that thing to bear in mind. And the LV video series, this one, the Living Masterclass section, is where I keep people updated all the time about recent developments. You can see that a lot goes behind not only these levels, but how to understand and interpret them. How to read the footprints financially across different markets. How to apply Bitcoin's gravitational bias across the different alts. And we haven't even touched on the psychological aspects, real wealth and positive excellence that are absolutely critical for your success. But they are covered in the masterclass. And also a little bit inside level one certification. What we're going to be doing going forward is watching very, very closely these levels. Level 1.1 1 .1 at 17856 and level A at 13903. These are the two most important levels now. Another thing to keep in mind, when price gets below a particular level, it's called under resistance. And when it's above a particular level, that is a support. If we see price breaking above level 1.1 1 .1 at 17856, that will become a support level. And the next resistance will become level 1 at 24987. When price gets above level 1 and turns it into support, the next level it will go to is 40,151. So this gravitation between these very, very strong smart money buy and sell levels is what you want to keep your eye on. That's what professionals do. And this is exactly how you want to read this chart. Please keep your eyes on these levels. And if you want to be able to draw these levels on any price chart, Knowledge transfer is available through the CTKS method standard certification. We've covered an enormous amount of ground in this particular video. I hope you found it useful. And at times like this, Masterclass Rule 97, invest in your knowledge, is incredibly important to apply. Take care, my friends, and see you tomorrow. Bye for now.